Welcome to Synthetic Programming, guys. Today we're going to go over how windows are made. Uh, I got to take a tour of a window factory, and so we're going to go over the entire process from start to finish. You guys would be amazed at how complicated making windows is. Windows are not simple at all, and don't let anyone tell you that they are. Look at one of your windows right now, and you might see. So, check this out. The first thing that happens is there's a software that is fed a schematic. Now, these schematics tell a big CNC cutter where to cut the glass and uh, you know, the dimensions are all specified for each pane, and then a large pane of glass is actually dropped onto the cutting table. Now, the drop seems like it should break the glass, but the air being pushed out from under the glass actually cushions its fall. Now, this table is very special in the fact that just like an air hockey table, it has little holes built into the top of it that shoot air out, and that makes it easy for the people cutting the glass to slide the heavy pane around on the table, just like how it's easy for a hockey puck to slide around on an air hockey table. So after the uh, big pane is put into place, the machine is initiated and the schematic is cut into the glass. The cutting head uses a diamond tip, and if you look very closely, there's a little canister of liquid that's attached to the diamond tip. This canister of liquid is filled with a special evaporating oil, which lubricates the diamond head, making sure that the glass is cut in a clean score. After the cutter is done, the piece uh, that would be considered scrap glass or trash is picked up and moved to the side where it can be broken and recycled in smaller pieces. Now the rest of the glass is split up into panes. Now, sometimes the people that are cutting the glass can just split it by hand. But in other cases, the table that they're cutting it on actually moves. And uh, you can see that here. The table will move and assist the people in breaking the, uh, the pane. It's a very slight movement, but the table jumps up a little bit and helps them break the glass. Now, all these panes are then sorted by size and are uh, put here to wait for further processing. The next machine is a huge washer, which takes the glass panes in one side and puts a special coating on them as well as cleaning off all the dust. So here you can see the machine being turned on and then the man operating it is going to feed a pane into the side of the machine over here. Now this machine will run many panes very quickly and almost as quickly as it goes into the machine it comes out the other side sparkly new. Uh, this is very important for assembling the glass panes because when you put the uh, two pieces of glass together to assemble one pane, you don't want them to have any dust on one side. In another part of the factory, spacer bars are filled with a special material that mimics sugar in the sense that it picks up moisture. So the people working in the factory actually call this sugar, but it's not edible, so don't try. Next, these pieces are put together to form what we would call the spacer bar and the spacer bars are sealed up using a special kind of black plastic that you'll see in a minute, but they also use baby powder to make sure that everything is uh, you know, nice and dry on the table. So uh, here's that black plastic that's used to seal it up, and these uh, spacer bars are hung out to dry where you can see the nice seal of black plastic has been professionally added. So next, the spacer bars are assembled um, into different designs depending on the window order, but uh, you can see here a very generic uh, spacer bar design that you might see on an everyday window. Uh, this just goes between the panes to give it that special design and also a little more stability. So here you can actually see some of these installed spacer bars so you get an idea of what they look like. So after this is complete, uh, you know, sometimes metal spacer bars are added, more intricate spacer bars, but before the window is sealed up, it needs to be prepared with the spacer bar. So one pane of glass is put onto the bottom of a rack and another uh, spacer bar is taken and added around the outside of the pane, which you can see here. Now this pane has to be lined up very well with the spacer bar because another pane of glass is then going to be added on top so that there's an air pocket in between the two panes of glass. And this air pocket is very important. we will see why in a little bit. but this is not a perfect seal whatsoever. Air can get in and out of this seal, which is not good. So, uh, the uh, pane, the entire pane setup is moved over to another area where a special chemical called polysulfide is prepared and the catalyst is added, which makes it melt 
and an extruder is prepared to apply this uh, polysulfide. So what's going to happen after is a weight is put on top of the pane and polysulfide is added to the sides of the glass to make the glass have no places where air can escape. This needs to be an airtight seal. And you can see the seal being cleaned here, which leaves us with a very clean, nice seal that shouldn't let any gas escape or enter the window pane. Next, these panes are gonna be stored until they're dry. But once the seals have cured, they're gonna pump argon gas inside the window. So your windows might just be filled with argon gas, which actually serves as an insulator for your house. It keeps some of the temperature inside and some of the cold outside. So in another part of the factory, large pieces of frame are fed into another large cutting machine. But this cutting machine is different in the sense that when programmed, it's going to produce the four pieces necessary to surround the window. Now garbage pieces are dumped down a chute while the pieces that we need are actually fed out of the machine and are uh, given to the operator where the operator can then bring them onto the next stage. Now in the next stage, holes are cut in the side of these frames that can be used to install hardware on the window later. Um, now this hardware might include handles and hinges, things like that, that need holes where they can be screwed into place. Now here you can see the frame being straightened out so that it can be placed into a big welding machine, which specifies based on the measurements of the pane, which you can see being scanned here. So here's the big welding machine, and what's going to happen is these plates are going to slide into place after the whole window has been added. Now as these plates slide into place, the window pane, sorry, the uh, edges of the window are pressed up against these plates and they heat up. Once they're done, the edges are pushed together and are welded together. So the plastic melts a little bit and then re-hardens when all together. You can see the finished uh, window frame here. And as you get closer, you can see that there's some nice tight seals. Now these have to be cleaned up, of course. So manually, someone clips off the uh, long ends that have melted off and then the entire window frame is fed into a machine that uh, quickly cleans up the edges. So you'll see uh, the machine here in a second just cleaning the edges with an automatic blade after holding the window down in place. And this blade works very efficiently. Now after this is done, there's actually someone who comes along and touches up all of these with a little bit of paint depending on what kind of material the frame was cut from in the first place. So another person in the factory actually cleans the frame before it's painted. So here they're airbrushing it to make sure that there's no dust on it, but then they're going to wipe it down with some alcohol, which will evaporate quickly but also provide a clean surface for the paint to adhere to. Some tape is added on the inside where paint isn't desirable, and the entire frame is taken into the paint room, a large industrial room with a lot of airbrush paint. Now this paint is applied by a professional airbrusher who's going to put it on in coats to make sure that the, uh, that the entire window frame gets a solid coat of whatever color is necessary for the job. Now these frames are then brought to a drying rack where they can quickly be cured and dry. Some windows have curved frames though, and these are formed a little bit differently. A long piece of frame is fed into an oven, and once it's heated up, an operator will pull that frame out and clamp it into place on top of some sort of wooden frame. As you can see, the windows that are formed by these techniques have curved tops or bottoms. Here's some examples. Some other pieces of hardware are set into place on a rack to actually be painted. And you can see these a little closer. These are just little hinges. And then what happens with these after they're painted is they move on to the installer who's going to install all the different hardware on the inside of the window. And there's a lot there. Uh, this person was going fast and I had no idea what some of the things she was adding were, but they all serve a purpose and they're all extremely important to the uh, functionality of the window. So next what happens is that these installed windows get brought, uh, sorry, the installed frames get brought where the finally the panes can get installed. So, you know, there's a lot of steps that happen between the panes actually entering the window and the window being assembled. So what's going to happen now 
is the uh, there's another airbrushing session where he makes sure that the com the frame is completely clean, wood is cut to specification, and different parts of the window are assembled. So these parts, you know, you could name each one individually, but here you can see small spacer bars and things like that to keep the window from jiggling. This is the wood that will eventually be secured in place when the windows are installed in a house. And some staples are added along with another hinge just so that nothing moves around upon installation. So then some sealant is added to make sure that the weather, the windows, sorry, are completely weatherproof. And finally, the sticker is added to say that the window is complete. Also, barcodes are printed out to make sure that there are no problems with the window, and in the case that there is a problem, these barcodes on different parts of the window can be scanned so that operators and repairmen know exactly what to look for. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It took a while to make. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.